Google Analytics 4 or GA4 allows you to customize the left hand navigation bar. In this GA4 tutorial, I will show you exactly how to do that. So if you are ready, let's log into Google Analytics and see how it works. All the reports in the left navigation bar are organized into major buckets called collections. So for example here, you have lifecycle collection and user collection. Within each collection, you have certain sets of topics. Here you have acquisition, engagement, monetization and retention topics under lifecycle and demographic and tech under user. Within each topic, you have certain reports. This navigation might not suit your business needs. If that's the case, then you can customize this experience with your own collection of topics and reports. Underneath the navigation, you will see library option. Only people with editor or administrator role will be able to use this functionality. So if you don't see this library option, that means you do not have editor or administrator access to this property. And as a result, you won't be able to follow along. However, if you do have access, then click on library. And that opens up an interface where you can see the current collections as well as options to create new collections and add topics and reports to it. Here you have life cycle collection with following topics underneath it. That's how it maps to our life cycle navigation menu. You'll notice it says published. Then you have search console, which is currently unpublished. If I publish this, then it'll also start to show up in the navigation menu. And then you have user with following topics in it. You can click on edit collection on any of these to edit that collection. To create a new collection, you'll click on create new collection. So let's start here. And then I will show you the other features. Click here. This opens up another window where you can pick one of the templates to start with. These predefined templates have set of topics and reports that make sense for that collection. When you use a template, it pre-fills the information with the topics and reports that are relevant for that particular collection. You can then customize that as you see fit. Instead of using any template here, I am going to start a blank template. So click on blank. This opens up an interface where you can create your collection. Here you have collection title. So give it a name. I am going to call it Anil Collection. And then underneath that, you can create topics. To create a topic, simply click on create new topic and provide a name of the topic. I am going to name it test by Anil. Go ahead and apply it. Now this topic is created. Underneath this topic, you can add the reports that you want. If you want another topic, then you'll click on create new topic. To add reports to your topic, you can pick the reports from this section on the right hand side. You have detailed reports and overview reports. To add any report to the topic, click on the report and drag it over and drop it. Now that report is added to your topic. If you are looking for a particular report, then you can also use the search functionality on the top. So if I type in pages here, it's going to find the report that has the keyword pages in it. There are no matching results in the overview reports. So I am going to go to detailed reports. And here I can see there is pages and screens report. To use this report in your topic, click on it and drag it. Now pages and screens is also added to the topic. You can go ahead and add more reports and more topics as required. Once you're done, click on save. Once your collection is saved, you'll notice that a message pops up in the bottom that tells you that your changes have been saved. After the collection is saved, click on the back link on the top of this page to go back to the previous screen. And here your collection shows up. However, this collection is still unpublished. So in order to publish this collection so that it can start to show up in your navigation bar, click on these three dots and click on publish. Once that's published, that collection will start to show up in the navigation bar right here.
expand it and we can see the reports. All the reports that are available for you to use are listed in this section here. You'll see the name of the report and the collection it belongs to. You can also create new reports to add to this list. We will cover creating new reports in another video. To make any changes to a collection, click on edit collection link and it brings you back to the screen where you created the collection. Here you can customize your collection again by adding or removing the topics and reports. Once you're done, you can go ahead and save it. Once done, click on back to go back to the library interface. If you don't want your collection to show up in your navigation, you can go up to these three dots and click on unpublish. This will unpublish the collection and remove it from your navigation. However, if you don't want the collection at all, then you can go up again to these three dots and click on delete. This will completely delete the collection. There are a few other options available under these three dots. Make a copy and rename. So if you ever need to duplicate and start from that collection, then you can make a copy and make your changes. Or if you need to rename, then you can use this option. Now I'm going to show you one very important aspect of library collection. So click on edit. In this collection, you'll notice that it was built using lifecycle collection template. I showed you the collection templates a few minutes ago. Whenever you use a template, you will see the name of that template listed here. Next to the name of the template is a link icon. Whenever you use a predefined template provided by Google Analytics, you will see this icon. By default, the status of this icon is linked. What that means is that this collection is linked to the underlying template. As a result, if Google makes any updates to the template, let's say it adds new topics and reports, those will automatically become available in your collection. If you click here and unlink the template, then any new updates from Google Analytics to this template are not going to be pushed to your collection. And once you unlink it, you cannot link it back. So you have to be careful about this. I suggest that you leave this alone and do not touch it unless there is a very specific business reason for you to unlink it. Any changes you make in the navigation, they will be reflected for all your users. So keep that in mind as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment for me, letting me know your thoughts on this video. And I will see you in the next video.